Hi Taurus, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. Now bear in mind that spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Uh, just to recap, this here is going to be your overall energies. These three cards in the center are past, present, and future energies. We've got clarifiers for each as well as final messages and or a summary from spirit depending on how they choose to go. So, coming out the gate, we've got Anka, kin of the Red Hawk tribe. It's number 39. And it reads, on the wings of red-tailed hawk, a divine message comes. Your spiritual maturity has evolved into genuine power and discernment. You have earned your stripes. Acknowledgement is granted. Trust yourself in your destiny. You are ready. Trust in your sense of timing, which is excellent and inspired. Allow the divine to support you as you hover until the moment comes for you to fearlessly plunge into your forthcoming adventure. Okay, so we've got the Six of Cups for past, the Sun for present, and the Six of Wands for the future. Okay, already this is a really positive reading. So, Six of Cups speaks of fond memories, um, fond memories that are long standing. Um, as you can see, this is consummating a wedding. This is, it's about celebrating in this case like a long and and steady love it's meant to last on its face it's meant to last forever and it's the the kind of feelings that are meant to bear fruit All right current energies we have got the sun card so the sun card a lot of tarot readers will tell you it's the happiest one in the deck. It talks about like illuminating paths, about the things that were once hidden now being brought to light. It's a brand new awareness. It's a, oh, so this is where I can go. Okay, let me let me go ahead and move forward with that. And then if, into the future, we've got the Six of Wands, which is the victory card. This is um, the good job you, uh, the pat on the back from. It's the pageantry and the accolades from a job well done. So already it looks like you're you're in a really good streak along with these along with the kin of the Red Hawk tribe, like you're you are moving you're moving in a good direction. So the six of cups is clarified you have a lot of sixes this go around so the six of cups is clarified by the justice card the six of coin and the strength card so with this my the first thing that comes to mind is balance okay so you've got the justice card here and this is not this is not earthly justice. This is divine justice. This is when your spirit team comes in and, you know, passes, passes it down and says, okay, this is this and that is that. And here's, here's where we are. This is where we're, this is our new starting point, right? And in this case, your funds are balanced. You are able to 
have your wants and your needs met and you're also able to invest as well as give some away. Like you've, as far as your resources are concerned, this is a very well balanced card. This is coming into, oh, hey, this could be like going from paycheck to paycheck, right? And then moving up in such a manner that you actually have funds left over, right? You're able to, there are things that you were able, weren't able to invest in before that are now commonplace, right? It's like a, a leveling up as far as finances are concerned. And then with the strength card, it's more of the balance. It's about, it's about managing the active and the passive. It's about being able to, even though you are strong enough to be able to physically handle your problems, you also understand and are adept in the fine art of tact. You're learning that and you're balancing that. So the sun card is clarified by the six of wands, the lovers, and the nine of pentacles. So here we are again with the six of wands. There's that victory card again. This is the, again, the pageantry and the accolades. This is being set apart. This is, you know, this could be a promotion in your job or it could be a promotion in your personal life. This is, um, this is that, this is that lap. The race has been run. You have been declared the victor. You have been declared the victor justice card. And now you get to take that victory lap and wave to those who have cheered for you. And then you've got the lover's card here, which is a card of choice, right? You, you chose to balance things that were not. You chose to go down this path that was going to lead you to this victory. And now with the nine of pentacles, you are again, here we go, still talking about that same thing. We were talking about the six of pentacles and being able to have the needs and the wants and be able to give and be able to save. Yeah, you are really coming into that mind frame. And once you are in that mind frame, then your physical life starts to reflect those thoughts that you set in motion, right? And then the six of wands is clarified by the queen of cups, the wheel of fortune, and the three of wands. Okay. So with the queen of cups, she is nurturing. She knows how to take emotional content and grow it and turn it into something useful. She, she knows how to translate emotion into actual action. And then with the Wheel of Fortune card, you are definitely on a victorious path right now. You are co-creating with spirit. You are doing, you are following the instructions that spirit is giving and you are being blessed overly and abundantly. And you know this three of wands, but you are, you are standing on the promises. You are standing in faith that the promises that were made to you are going to come to pass. And you are here and you are believing it and you are waiting on it patiently.
So final messages are the Knight of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Lovers, and Strength again. You are feeling vibrant. You, you're feeling exuberant. That's a good word. Exuberant these days. You are taking action and choosing to co-create with spirit. And though this information is making you quite powerful, spiritually powerful, uh, you also understand the responsibility that goes along with that. And you are taking care to use this power wisely, continue to use this power wisely. Okay, Taurus, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you all next time. Bye now.